Hi, my name's Judy and welcome to a new a reading vlog. I'm starting a brand new reading vlog after not really vlogging properly the last like few months. So I really want to get back into the swing of weekly vlogging again, getting used to like my new routine and just also getting in a routine and I don't know, just making the most of the last couple of months of the year and I love this time of year. I love October and I love spooky season but I also really love Christmas. I am a Christmas girl through and through. I love the festive season and I am definitely a like celebrate Christmas early kind of person. Hello, I'm here to quickly bring you a little commercial break. We are going to thank the sponsor of today's video who is Serious Readers. So you guys may have already seen me work with them in some previous videos. I am genuinely a very big fan of their reading light. In fact, I've had mine for over a year now and I honestly am obsessed with it. I use it every single day and I honestly don't know how I would cope without it. Living in the UK, it gets really dark and gloomy in the autumn winter times and I need daylight like i need light to be able to read comfortably and this site definitely does that for me so for those of you who don't know serious readers is a british company they make their reading lights here in the uk and they have a range called the serious lights range which consists of the high definition the alex light and the classic light and these are the only lights from serious readers which use their daylight wavelength technology which basically replicates the daylight spectrum as closely as technically possible so it is absolutely perfect for those darker months but this is just such a good investment anyway because like i said you can use it for reading all year round but you can use it for so many other hobbies or as a general light these lights are fully customizable so you can change the color you can change the metal you can have a heavy base or a lightweight base and you can also get a floor or a table light as well so there are plenty of options to make this light exactly to your choosing and also when you're using it it does have a feature where you can increase and decrease the brightness to get it exactly how you want and you can also move it around to get it in the most comfortable position for you to read with which is something i love so yeah i honestly love mine it is a really good gift for yourself or somebody else and it's also a really good investment especially if you are a reader and all products in the serious lights range benefit from a five-year warranty so serious readers has been kind enough to give me a discount code that i can share with you guys so if you use the code that is on the screen here this will get you a hundred pound off one of their high definition lights as well as free delivery so if you do want to take advantage of this then i will have all of the information you need listed in the description box along with a pinned comment as well so please go and check serious readers out and thank you so much to them for sponsoring another one of my my videos but now let's get back to the rest of this vlog so this vlog is probably going to be very festive as are all the other vlogs coming up throughout november and december and as you can tell i've got like a subtle like christmas jumper on it's not really a christmas jumper but it has the vibe i do have a little subtle christmasy festive mug with a little snowflake on so yeah i'm very much in the mood now for christmas and all things festive i usually start to celebrate christmas towards the middle or end of the month and i have gradually been making that like earlier every single year so today is november 5th it is bonfire night in the uk so if you hear loads of fireworks going off in the background that is why but i did want to start a, a new reading vlog because my last few are just all over the place and i just know i need like a fresh slate and i want to try and vlog this coming week um so yeah I figured I'd start this one. So if I sound a bit weird, it's because I just had COVID. So I'm still getting over it. I'm still a bit sick, but I am not positive for COVID anymore. But I still feel sick, if that makes sense. So yeah, my voice is a bit not the best. But anyway, hopefully this week will be better. Let's talk about reading plans. So I'm not really currently reading anything at the moment. Like I am, but not actively, if that makes sense. But I'm planning to start reading Powerless by Lauren Roberts this week. So this is my Patreon buddy read for the month of November. I'm very excited because this is like a YA fantasy romance, enemies to lovers, knife to the throat vibe kind of book. And everyone has been going on about this and how amazing it is. It's quite a chunky one. It's like not shy of 500 pages, I think. Um, so I do want to make a start on it early on in the month. So I've got plenty of time to read it and film a spoiler filled reading vlog for Patreon. So that's my plans. But I don't really know much about the plot of this book. I think there is some trials in here maybe which I do love but yeah I've heard very very good things about it so I do plan to at least start it this week. My other current read is The Forest Grimm by Catherine Purdy and this one is kind of like a dark sort of retelling of multiple different fairy tales and fables 
and yeah we have like this creepy forest that's kind of like sentient and um, we have this girl who is trying to get into the forest to try and find her mother and i think there's also a romance so i'm only on page 33 which is chapter three so yeah so far it's fun um, we're just kind of like getting used to the world and meeting the characters so we can just see what's going to happen but yeah I am currently reading this. I do have the Fairloot edition but I bought this like standard edition because I am like tapping it and like making notes and stuff so I didn't want to do that obviously the fairly one because the spread edges so I do have this one but yeah I'm going to be making more progress on that this week and then my other reading plans I don't really know like I'm in a weird reading mood right now so I might pick up Zoda Academy 5 or another fancy romance book I might even read this again which I was reading like this time last year and just like stopped reading um on page 156 which is these hollow vowels by Lexi Ryan i'm kind of like wanting to pick this back up again so i might do that as well if i want like an easy y fantasy kind of vibe my tassel has broken why do my tassels always do this can anyone tell me how you fix this because this happens all the time and it's so annoying i might pick this back up again and then i'm also planning to start rereading house of earth and blood um, which is the first book in the crescent city series because i'm doing like a read along with my patrons up until the third book comes out so we're going to be reading like the first book and the second one and then the third one together when that comes out so i'm going to try and start that this coming week as well um so those are all of my reading plans for the week ahead and then i did just receive this in the mail which i might read which is the name drop by susan lee it's the same author who wrote soulmate which is this book here i read an arc of this last year and i loved it so i've been so so excited to get my hands on this one and i was very very kindly gifted this so i'm not sure if it's pronounced eilish or eilish 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 or eilish um because i think there's a couple of different ways you can pronounce it um but they very kindly got me this as a gift for vampathon and yeah i'm very very grateful to you for getting me this book because it was a really really lovely surprise today and i've been very very excited to read this and eagerly awaiting its release so i cannot wait to pick it up i might actually read this this week if i fancy something kind of quick and like a fun ya a little romance because that's what this is and apparently it does have k-drama vibes which obviously i love so i am very excited to give this a read um and i love this cover as well so yes i will hopefully be picking this up very soon so thank you so much for the lovely gift it was really really nice and yeah i'm very grateful so i think i probably will read this one um but i want to like get back into my reading mood again so i'm in the mood for a fantasy though like fantasy romance specifically so maybe we'll read something in that vicinity but we'll see but yes that is everything that i wanted to talk to you guys about i'm actually gonna go and start filming my november reset video now so i guess i will probably catch up with you guys maybe tomorrow i just wanted to come on and say hi and like start this vlog i did um pop out because we needed like cat litter and stuff earlier um so i did pick up a few like a christmasy bits as well so i will go downstairs in a moment and like show those because i think it's fun and you guys like seeing stuff like that um but my next actual update will likely be tomorrow but i will hopefully be putting up the christmas tree in that video and some other christmas decks which will be really fun i'm picking up my november tbr so yes if you don't want to miss that then make sure you do watch that video but yeah i'm gonna go now um show you the stuff i got which is downstairs and then i will chat to you guys probably tomorrow okay so this is some of the stuff that i got today which i thought i'd show because some of it is really cute so i got this throw this is from asda and it's part of the stacy solomon i think collection i had my eye on this online and i decided to get it because we've actually ordered a new couch which i'm very excited for and i just know this is gonna look perfect on it and it's so simplistic which i like i want to go for like a minimalist christmasy vibe this year in the living room so i got this little throw and it has these like snowflake things on it and it's just like a beige colour and I just loved it. This was quite expensive, I think. For Asda, it was £20. But I do really love it. So I picked that up. And then I got this little tree. So I got this from Primark. Um, this was... Let's see. Can it focus? So this was £8. Um, so it's just this little snowy Christmas tree. And they had it in a smaller size. So I probably will pick more of these up and just stop them around the house. 
Um, ignore the mess in the background. That's my like vacuum sealed Christmas jumpers and stuff that I need to like empty and wash. But anyways, this is a little snowy Christmas tree that I got and I really do like it. Um, I also got these when I went to Asda. So these are just different wax melts. So these are only a pound each. And I've said this in a vlog before, but I love burning wax melts all the time. And I definitely didn't need more, but all the ones I have are like autumnal scents. So I wanted some Christmassy ones. So I did get two of the gingerbread house ones. Then we have these vanilla shortbread ones. I have this one, which is spruce and snow. So this is like a pine kind of scent. And then we have this one, which is Cozy Christmas. So I just picked those up. And then I did pick this tray up as well. I think I'm going to put this on our coffee table and maybe put like the Christmas tree thing in it and some other little bits. And then I got this from the One Below store. Um, it's just a little like wax melt burner thing um, with a little Christmas tree, which I thought was cute. So the ones I have are like ones with moons on. So I thought it'd be nice to get a Christmassy one. So I picked that up. It was only like one pound something. I went to TK Maxx as well and I got this for myself. I did buy a lot of Christmas presents today, which I'll show you guys, but I couldn't resist this. So this is a little book um, necklace and it says Book Lovers Club on it and it's gold plated. So this is what it looks like. It's so cute. Um, so I did get myself this and I do really like it. I just, I couldn't look at a bookish necklace. Um, and then I also got myself these pajamas because I really wanted them. And I like my pajamas to be quite oversized. So I'm hoping these will be. Um, and they're really, really soft. They're just some nice Christmassy ones. So these were from Primark. Um, I also picked up this Sephora in TK Maxx because 3 99 is a really good price for this size of Sephora. It's so expensive. And this one is frosted peppermint which I've never smelled before and it's Christmassy. So I did decide to grab that. I also did get these. So this year for my mum and sister who hopefully are not watching, if you are, please click off this video, but I highly doubt you are watching. Um, I got these two hamper baskets. I'm gonna get a third one and do this for my dad as well. So I'm gonna get them like loads of little gifts, almost like a self-care kind of vibe. Just like, you know, cosmetic stuff, toiletries, pajamas, fluffy socks, that kind of stuff. Um, so I did get some fair to put on there. And I've got some stuff in this bag, which I'll show you in a moment. And then I did get this little LED snowflake to go in my library window. But yeah, this is the stuff in here that I got for the um, hampers. So I got them one of these each. So my mum and my sister both like to drink and they love gin. So this is a make your own pink gin. So like it has all like the stuff in it and it comes with a little sieve. And I just thought these were really cute to add into the hamper. So I picked up one of those. So I'm going to have, like, kind of show you what it will look like. Um, and then I also got one of these each for them. So I think these, so the gin things I think were like $7.99 or $8.99. And these were $7.99 you get a body butter and a body scrub. So it's just this brand i don't know what brand it is um but i thought these would be like a nice little thing to put in there and then i got my sister one of these to go in hers because i know she likes those ones and then i got her these little blowish face mask thingies um so i'm gonna get like loads of other little bits to go in each basket slightly different but like some like makeup and skincare and bubble bath bath bombs that sort of thing candles pajamas um and then i did also get my mum these cute little earrings which i'll try and show you guys because they are really pretty um so i did get my mum these little earrings which i'm gonna put in the basket as well so yeah i'm basically just gonna do like a cute little like hamper basket with like lots of different things in like candles and some pajamas and stuff so i thought i would show you guys because i think it's gonna be cute so yeah i just picked up those bits today but I am very excited for Christmas, as you can tell. I love Christmas time. I cannot wait to carry on Christmas shopping and buying people presents. Buying presents makes me so happy. And I'm excited for like all these little wax melts that I've got. I think I'm gonna burn some of these tonight in this. Oh, I forgot to show this as well. I also got myself this, which is from TK Maxx. This was $6.99 and it's coffee, shea butter, ultra smoothing scrub cream. So it's kind of like an exfoliator thing and it's coconut vanilla as well. And it smells so good. And I was like, I'm gonna get myself that. So I did get myself this and the little necklace. That is my little haul that I'll show you guys. I just noticed one of my candles has fallen off there. Um, but yeah, that is my little mini haul. Um, I'm gonna go now and I will talk to you guys. Hi guys, 
so I'm here really quickly to film this clip to update this vlog. Um, so I think I have filmed a clip starting this vlog off. I haven't vlogged since then because it's been a very busy week. And today is Friday the 9th or 10th of November. And I'm going to Yelp today. I literally am going in half an hour and I still haven't finished packing. So this clip needs to be very quick. So I just wanted to come on and say I am going to Yelp. I'm going to try and film footage while I'm there. But I'm going with work. So I will be working on the Fairly booth this weekend. So hopefully I see some of you guys there, which will be really exciting. If by the time you're watching this video, you did see me at Yelp or we like chatted at Yelp, please let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be working on the Fairly booth across the two days and I'm really, really excited. I'm taking some books to hopefully get signed by some authors, but I haven't decided which ones yet. So I need to do that before I have to leave. I need to leave at 9.30 and get my train down to London. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm still recovering from being sick, but I am also really excited for Yelp because I get to see some of my friends and the people I work with and it's just going to be a fun time. So yes, I'm going to try and film some clips while I'm there, but like I said, I will be working, so I don't know what footage I'm going to get and also it's going to be busy, I'm going to be socializing, I'm going to be tired. So we'll see. Um but yeah, anyway, very very quick a reading update i'm currently reading i am flame by rebecca yaros which is the sequel to fourth wing i'm only on chapter 18 and i'm on page 168 i'm actually reading this on my kindle and um, this book is so big so i might read more of it this weekend at yalk but i do have some things i need to read for work so those will be getting prioritized over this um but this is my current read i will also be starting my reread for house of earth and blood because i'm doing a read along of the crescent city series all the way up until the release of the third book with my patrons so you can join us over on patreon if you want to participate um so i need to read some of this i have to have like so many pages i can't remember exactly read by wednesday so i'll probably read this when i get home i'm not taking any of these books to yelp with me um i'm also currently reading the forest grim i'm on chapter 12 page 107 um it's a fun time so far i'm liking the atmosphere and the vibes but i'm not obsessed with it that is my very quick reading update i'm gonna go now because i like i said i need to go and finish packing for yelp but i will catch up with you guys very very soon and yeah i guess goodbye for now <laughs> since i updated this vlog so i think the last time i spoke to you guys was on friday morning when i was heading off to yelk so if there was any footage that i took you guys will have already seen it i didn't really film it i'm not gonna lie i was there with work so it wasn't really like i was gonna be having my camera all the time plus i was just having fun hanging out with friends and stuff and enjoying the event itself that i didn't really pick my camera up to be honest actually i didn't pick it up once i used my phone to film a couple of clips and that was literally it um so i think i filmed like five clips i'm not gonna lie but hopefully you guys did enjoy whatever i did film albeit a very small amount um but i do have a very big haul to make up for the lack of content so yeah first i'm just going to talk about the books i got signed so i did actually take eight books with me to get signed but i only ended up going to two signings for a multitude of reasons one it was super busy two the lines were just far too long and three i was just having too much fun going around the event to spend most of my time standing in the queue so i did only go to two got my fairly edition of as long as lemon trees grow by azulfa signed azulfa is one of the nicest authors i've ever met honestly She's just so lovely and funny and just wonderful. Honestly, like I love her. Um, but she very kindly did a sign on my book for me. And she put in the cutest quote as well, which I love. Like, look how cute this is. I love it. So I did go to her workshop while I was at Yelk as well. So you guys might have seen a couple of clips. It was amazing. It was so good. And I really enjoyed it. But yeah, 
she very kindly signed my copy for me and then i also got my american edition of the hurricane wars class size i kind of regret not taking all of my copies with me but because i was taking all the other books i decided to take one and i thought it'd be nicer to get like a non-special edition signed because i have my fairly edition which I already have like a signature in and then I have the water edition. So I just decided to get this one signed. I was going to take my arc to get signed, but I decided to get that as well. But yeah, I did get it signed, which is super fun. And she was also giving out like free little prints. So I do have one of those somewhere. Those are the only two books that I did get signed. Now for the haul, which I'm sure you're all very excited about. Now I think everything is here, but maybe I'm missing stuff. Um, so I did get the little free Yelp goodie bag. Um, so we have the Yelp tote and then I didn't go crazy crazy with books i did get some on the last day and then i bought two on the first day but they were like special editions and i got like quite a lot of freebies and stuff so i'm just going to show like everything i have in the bag so i got this study and drowning i think this was from i won this on like a little wheel thing and they gave me this like card also got this cute little free bookmark and a locked library badge as well there's a lot of stuff by the way so you're gonna have to bear with me i got this free chapter sampler of brielle and bear once upon a time i think it's called and this is a romantic love story for teen readers and fans of heartstopper this comes out september next year and i already know i'm gonna love this because of the art style this is gonna be a graphic novel so look at this but then look at the art style. Like, it's so freaking cute so you can pause here if you want to read the synopsis but like the art inside here is so beautiful i'm obsessed i'm gonna be pre-ordering this haven't even read the sample yet but i'm obsessed with the art style but yeah i got this and i'm so excited to read the sampler like i just know i'm gonna love this especially because it's a little romance as well okay so i'm gonna show you guys the other free stuff that i got first and then i'll show you all the stuff that i purchased and um, we have a lot of stuff here so yeah, not gonna lie, some stuff I did decide to give away or got rid of because I wasn't interested in it. That came with like the yelp bag and stuff. I have like various little like chapter sampler thingies. Um, so we have those. I have some little sticky tabs and a bookmark from Hodder. A little temporary tattoo for Throne of the Fallen. And then I have a whole bunch of bookmarks, um, which I'll very quickly go through. These are very pretty though. So these are just all like little free ones they were giving out at various different um publishing booths and stuff so yeah there's a few different ones i have two hurricane moths somehow but i love the foiling um so yeah i have a bunch of free bookmarks which you can never have too many bookmarks i also have like a bunch of random uh like postcardy things as well um, for various different books this one is so cute so i'll just show you this this is a little heart stopper like booklet thing and you can like rip these apart and it's all postcards of all of the different heart stopper covers like the us ones i think these are or the new ones i think i might rip these like up and take them all to my wall because i love the art and i love alice Eastman's book so i did get that which is really cute and um, yalk randomly gave us a spark I think it's this book. It's a spoon and a fork together. This is really random, but a really good idea. And then there's like a badge, uh, a bookmark, a Yelk sticker, a Yelk notepad. And then I have these Sad Ghost Club prints. I love this graphic novel series. Uh, I need to get the volume three still, but these are so good. If you want something to relate to, if you struggle with mental health, these are very good. I love it. And then I have this Empire of the Vampire, um, like print thing as well so i'm pretty sure that's all of the freebies oh there's also a badge and a yelk lanyard and then i'll quickly show you guys some of the books that i bought on the sunday i believe this was so i do already own this book i think i might own two copies of this book already maybe just one i know i have the fairly edition and i couldn't for the life of me remember if this book was signed or not and I love this book so much and I'm a huge fan of Axio. I just love her writing and her as a person. She's just like a really, really good author and super lovely. So yeah, as soon as I saw this, I was like, I'm going to get it. It's a signed paperback of one of my favourite books. If you love K-dramas or K-pop, you will absolutely adore this book. It is a YA contemporary romance and it is just the perfect K-drama vibes. I loved it. And yeah, this one was signed. So I was like, I'm going to get it. Um, so it has a cute little 
book plate in it and that is the Julian reason I bought it. Do you already own it? But now I have two copies. I didn't have the paperback though, so I'm kind of happy that I have the paperback. Um, but I did get that. And then I also bought What the River News. I am so excited for this book. This is supposed to have the mummy vibes. It's got romance in it and... Ooh, I also have a bookmark in it, apparently. It says, The mummy meets death on an owl and this lush historical fantasy filled with adventure rivals to love his romance and a dangerous race against time. So I'm very excited about this. I'm a huge fan of the mummy movies and anything to do with Egypt, as in ancient Egypt. I find the history and everything about it fascinating so anything related to that i will read and to be honest i haven't really found many books like fantasy books anyway that are either inspired by ancient egypt or set then or just like have something related to it um so i was very very excited when i found out about this book and they had them at yelp and they had like a deal on on the sunday so i think i got this for like 12 pounds and it should be 18.99 so yeah i'm very very happy that i got this i can't wait to read it i'm definitely picking this up soon maybe even during november or maybe on my december tbr but i did decide to pick that one up and then i got this proof which i'm so excited about so this is a tempest of tea and this comes out on the 22nd of february next year and look how cute this proof is um and i came with this cute little sticker as well and it says here in the top corner an intoxicating brew of secrets of vampires and romance that has to have you sold on this book honestly but yeah like i am so excited to read this i cannot wait i have very high expectations for this book i think i'm going to be picking this one up in december and i'm just so happy that i received this proof whilst i was at yelp like that was really really nice but yeah i think that's like all the stuff in this little yelp tote bag so next i have this locked library one so i bought one of their mystery boxes and it came with a free lock library tote bag honestly i only wanted one book in particular and sadly i did not get it uh so that kind of sucks but yeah they had like a mystery thing for like some of their previous books so i got one i it's kind of like expensive realistically for what it is because i'm sure the subscription with postage is the same price but i mean it's a nice addition i don't know if i will read this though um it says once upon a time there was a princess locked in a tower forced to bend to her father's will um i mean if there's romance i'll read it if there's no romance then i probably won't this is not my favorite edition of hers so yeah um this is the kingdom is a golden cage by lily inkwood and this is what it looks like here i do love the foiling we have this digital edge i think this is and this has like roses and stuff on um we don't have any m pages um i think we do have an author letter though which is really cool and then under the dust jacket we have this cage which is a really really cool design so yeah i didn't particularly want this one but you know what it's fine like i will still gladly take it like it's still a really pretty edition i have no idea what it's about but i know it's like a fairy tale -esque vibe so yeah anyway i did decide to get that took a risk didn't really work out for me but it's fine i still ended up with a really pretty book and yeah i love the tote bag so a win is a win i guess but yeah i did get that and then i bought a lot of stuff at once particular once particular one particular store and a few others um i went a little bit wild but i was like you know what it's yalk it's allowed um so i'll go through all this stuff last these are all bookmarks art prints and whatnot that i bought and stickers um so we'll do those in a moment but i'll show you these first so this little sword necklace i have on already if you guys can see it um i bought at this store now i've forgotten the store's name but it's like throne of books or something on like their website i think they came in like these little christmas bags which is cute i got this ring here from their stall and i also got this one here which is like a moon one um so yeah i got both of these rings they were only six pound each which is crazy it was so like a good value for money and yeah they had like lots of like rings and bookish necklaces and stuff they had like bookish pop vinyls they had bookmarks they had lots of stuff it was so cool i'll try and link their website down below but i got these two rings this necklace and then i also got this ring which is like a little gold one um, this is like a rose and a dagger and it gave me enemies to lovers vibes so I had to have that and then I got these two necklaces so I got this locket I don't know if you guys can really tell 
but it has a dragon on it and it does actually open up as a locket and it's shaped like a book so this is the rose version as well so i did get the same necklace but just a different design so this one has a rose on it and it's like a little book it does open it does open as an actual locket as well um so i got the rose one and i got the one with the dragon on because i couldn't make my mind up and i'm very much one of those people who when they can't make their mind up they buy both which is not good don't do that if you don't want to spend lots of money all the time but my voice is going sorry i'm still yeah i bought both anyway and i got these rings so i'm very very happy with those purchases i might have got other stuff from that store but i can't remember it's in a different bag but then i went to one of my favorite artists stores whose name ha is escaping me right now i want to say they're called bluey boo so i love them i have their fourth wing light edition dust jacket it's still in the tube i can't get out the tube at the moment but i do have that and then not long after they announced they were doing the dark edition and i don't think i managed to pre-order it but they had them at yalk and not only that they had spray edges and i was like do you know what i'm gonna treat myself this can be an early christmas present but not only did i treat myself i just went over the board i really did i treated myself and then some like i spent a insane amount of money at this store i'm not gonna lie but it's fine because basically i spent my entire yelk budget on one stall and i didn't really buy much at all the other stalls so like i feel like it's fine girl math is telling me it's okay so i got a lot of stuff i think i literally bought almost everything at her booth except for the pins i didn't go near the pins and there was like the odd sticker and the notepads that i didn't get but everything else i pretty much bought and i have no regrets um so i got this t-shirt um here on the label it actually tells you what it's called so it's this one here um, but I got this t-shirt, I got this in a medium because I love oversized t-shirts. My entire wardrobe is oversized t-shirts, jumpers or sweatshirts with leggings. That's literally what I live in. So I got this one. The sizing, I would say, is on the bigger size, I think. Because even for a medium, like this is very big on me. Um, so bear that in mind if you want to order. I don't know if these are on the site or if these are exclusive to Yelk. But I got this Enemies to Lovers t-shirt. I'm hoping you guys can see because I cannot see myself in the viewfinder. But this is what it looks like. I love it. And then it has this really cool design on the back. I am obsessed with this. This is just so me. And I wish I'd bought the other top. And I have regrets over not buying it. Um, and this was actually like a really good price. This was £25. Which I don't think is a bad price at all. Considering you have a design on the front and back. The material is very soft. And I've seen like t-shirts that say Anamisa Lovers for far more on Etsy. So I'm so happy with it. And if these are on a site, I think I'm going to buy the other one. Um, but basically, this tote bag is from there as well. And this is the other t-shirt design. So this is what it would look like. Um, it's got stuff in, so I'm not sure how well I'm going to be showing this. But it says one more chapter. And then it has all of these cool little illustrations on it. I love it. So I did get a little tote. So yeah, I got the tote. I love it. Um, and then... These are what I ran to the store for. Like, the first thing I did when I got in to Yalk on Saturday was run to the store. And luckily, it was just across from Fairy Loop. So, I feel like that was the universe trying to tell me, you need to buy this stuff. I wanted one of these books because I didn't know the spread edges would be there. And like I said, I wanted the dark dust jacket. So, this is the fourth wing edition that I got. So, it's black with this foiling. I already have the light edition, but I wanted this one too. Um, so, look at the spine. It's gorgeous. Like, this is just so unbelievably stunning. I honestly love it so, so much. Um, and then it also has sprayed edges, which I was like, I need it. Um, so, yeah, these are the sprayed edges we have. I think it's Andana who's on the side. Or maybe it's just the dragon, but the colour is just that colour. But because it's like a goldy colour, I'm going to say it's Andana. But, yeah, this is what the sprayed edge looks like. I'm obsessed with the spine. Like, it even says the War College Guide on the side as if it's, like, you know, from the book. Because the books are... If you've read the books, I don't want to give spoilers. But, like, you know what I mean. So, it's even, like, has that on the side as if this is in, like, the library at the War College, which I love. And I just love everything about this, honestly. Um, so yeah, I did decide to get this and I have no regrets. I'm so happy. Um, so I bought that one, but then I saw this one and I was like, well, I can't buy one and not the other. Um, so I got this one. Now I have seen these a few times on socials. I can't remember if you can get the rest of the series in the same like design, but I have seen them. A couple of you guys have tagged me in them before and I've always debated it, but never done it. But I finally did do it and I'm so happy that I did. This is beautiful. Um, this is probably my 17th or 18th copy of this book. Could be more or less. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's like 17th copy. This is my all-time favourite series. Got me through a really, really difficult time in my life. And plus I just love it as well. So 
I love to collect editions of this book. So yeah, I had to buy this. It's gorgeous. It's pink with foiling. I've never seen a pink version of this book before. Um, so I just love the vibe. So I did get this. This is what the dust jacket looks like. Um, and then it does also have these stunning sprite edges. I love these. I don't think I own any Court of Thorns and Roses books that have sprayed edges. I'm pretty sure I don't. So this is my first one and I'm obsessed. Like I love it so much. So I did decide to get both of these. Don't know if these are available on her website. Um, I'll link the website down below but maybe you guys can get them. But yeah, I'm very, very happy that I bought these. These are my favourite purchases from the entire weekend and yeah like i said i have no regrets and then i do have some other things to show you guys so i did buy a lot of stuff from her store as i said so i did get some prints which i'll show you guys first before anything else so i got this really gorgeous print i'm putting this on my art wall in my office i love it so much i just i saw the moon and i was like it's made for me um i have this spirited away one as well again going on my art wall and then we have this one which is exciting and violet love it um obsessed so yeah i got these three little art prints and i just love buying bookish art honestly like it's one of my favorite things and i love covering my walls on it i did also get some stickers and bookmarks this is gonna be so awkward to get all of this out and figure out which is from which store because i literally like can't remember i made three separate purchases but even they all came with these cute little envelopes with like a business card in which all had a free sticker in and i think it was um evangeline and jacks and they're really cute but i don't have those to hand show you guys but i do have all the stickers and bookmarks so i'll show you guys the stickers first because they're really cute i'm probably gonna put these on my kindle or when i get a laptop case i'll put them inside that so the first one i have is this like dagger one which i really love we have this one here which is slow burn a book club really cute um this one which i think might be upside down yeah it is so this is an enemies to lovers one we have this fourth wing one we also have another fourth wing one which is exadian and violet we have this bryce one which my lovely friend kat gave me i think it was kat gave me it because she got it free with a bookmark and she didn't want it so i have this one now i'm pretty sure this is facing but it could be wrong i don't know but i really liked it either way so i did buy it so those are the stickers i got from bluey boo and then i did get some bookmarks as well um i feel like i might be missing one amongst everything but these are the ones i have to hand anyway so i got the exadian and violet one again i got this gorgeous one with the foiling it has the dagger on both sides um then i also got this one with the foiling a fourth wing inspired one but then on the back it has like a slightly different design so i love this bookmark um then i got this one here which is just a cool dagger which reminded me of enemies to lovers vibes and then i got this cute little andana dragon one which i love um so those are all the bookmarks that i bought i think i only got five in total from there so i love those then i also got this from a store i have no idea which one it was but again this is a fourth wing sticker with foiling and this was only two pounds which is crazy because look how big this sticker is um so i did get this sticker i also bought some bookmarks unfortunately i can't remember what the stand was for these if anyone knows please let me know because i would definitely love to buy more of their bookmarks and it didn't come with a business card but I have this fourth wing one. It has foiling on it and then it has a quote on the back. I also got a Divine Rivals one, which has the foiling and quote on the back. And then we have a Once Upon a Broken Heart one with a quote on the back as well. Basically, I'm obsessed with these. I love them. The foiling is just stunning on these and these were really, really cheap. I swear these were like £2 each or £4 each or something, which is just crazy. Like the amount of foiling as well. And these are big bookmarks, so I love those. And then I also have this random hot stopper sticker that I bought because I got my friends um like a little cowboy sticker, boot sticker because they love the Chestnut Spring series. And then I needed to buy a third sticker to get like the deal. So I just got myself a hot stopper one. I do also have some stuff from this artist which didn't come with a business card and I forget their name every year when I see them. They were at Yelk last year and I have their art prints all over my office wall. Um they basically it's the person who did the art for the bookish box throne of glass editions it's that one so yeah anyway i got this cute little sticker i don't know who this is supposed to be i think it might be i want to say something. the gray hair is throwing me off so i'm not sure but i got this one and they did give me a free face on sticker but i've lost it um but i bought these two bookmarks as well so we have 
Vera and Resand, and then we and then we have Violet, and then on the back it has these designs. And then I did buy some art prints, of course, because I can't resist pet art ever. So I got two thrown of glass ones. So I got one of the whole gang, which is very cool. Really, really like this. And then I also got one of the 13. She did have these last year, but I didn't get them. So I did get them this year. Um, there's the little face on the sticker down there. Um, but then I got these two bigger prints, which are slightly damaged because getting them home was not easy. We have this one of Violet. I am going to be putting this in a frame. And then we have this one of Selena Sardathian, which is also going to be going in a frame. Um, so I think when they're in the frames, you won't be able to tell that I've like damaged them. But yeah, I did get some art prints because like I said, I just love her art so much and I could have bought a lot more. So yeah, I did get all of those, um, but I think that's everything that I got. I feel like this was a really good haul. I got lots of stuff I love, lots of bookmarks, stickers, and I just love buying like bookish um, art, especially at Yalk. It's just so fun. So yeah, I'm really happy with my Yalk haul. I feel like I got a good mix of things very very excited to put these on my bookshelves but i don't really have any reading updates because i haven't read anything whilst i was at yalk i was honestly exhausted the whole time and if i didn't already say so today is tuesday have read a bit more of the catherine purdy book which i can't remember what it's called the forest grim but i can't remember what page i'm on and then i'm also reading something for work which is fun um but besides that i haven't read any more of my current reads or started any new reads hopefully there will be time for that later this week but i'm really really busy right now um with a lot of work and other things so yeah i will try my best to do some reading but i'm gonna have a nice chilled weekend i think this weekend and get a lot of reading done because after last weekend i'm really tired still all the socializing and traveling for yalk and just like walking around all day and the excitement of it really does i don't know if it's like this for everyone but it really does take it out of me and i'm just feeling that kind of like tiredness right now so yeah i feel like i need a nice chilled weekend this weekend we have our new couch coming as well which is super exciting so i guess it won't be that chilled because we need to empty out the front room for that coming but i'm so excited for that but yeah anyway you guys aren't bothered about the fact i'm getting a new couch so don't want to tell you that but yeah this club has been very very long i hope you guys enjoyed my yacht haul i'm gonna go and order a takeaway and just chill with jamie and do some reading i think maybe i'm gonna watch an anime i started a new anime which is the apothecary diaries i'm only on episode three but i'm loving it i do own the manga for this series and i'm planning to read it soon but it's kind of like a historical fantasy series i think there's romance it's got lots of tea making in it and like pharmaceutical stuff she like brews potions like well not po she brews like poisons and like she tastes food to make sure it's not poisoned and stuff i don't know and it's just really good so far i'm just really really loving it i'm loving the vibes i'm loving the art i'm loving everything about this anime um so i think actually i might watch some of that in bed and get an early night and then i will do all the reading from wednesday onwards um but yeah i did want to come on and give you guys a little haul and that is kind of everything so i guess i'll catch you guys maybe tomorrow or later in the week um but yeah goodbye for now
hi guys so it has been a while since i updated this vlog um i just got done filming a very big monthly unboxing video so if you haven't seen that already i'll link it up here and you can go and watch it but yes i am very tired i just cannot seem to find time to relax properly and i can't even remember when i last updated this vlog but i know it was a while ago today is monday the 20th of november so we are a lot further into the month now but yeah i'm still just going through the motions but i do have couple of reading updates okay i have no idea where i put the book but i did finish reading the forest grim by Catherine purdy i'll put the cover on the screen here i haven't actually given it a rating yet but i think it's probably going to be a 2.75 rounded up to a three stars honestly i didn't love it i thought i was really gonna love it i love like those atmospheric kind of stories that are set in a forest that have all of those kind of like eerie vibes, subtly gothic, whimsical fairy tale vibe. And I just didn't really get it. I just didn't really gel with the characters a lot. And I don't know. I, it just, I don't know. Like I liked it, don't get me wrong. Like I'm not saying it's a bad book. I just didn't love it. I don't know. Like I'm kind of sad about it. But it was still like a really fun time. Like I really loved the setting. I loved how the grim fairy tales were woven into the story and i did like our main character's journey into like learning more about herself and i liked the kind of romance that blossomed in there and lots of other dynamics and the mystery element but ultimately i just didn't love it so i think it's going to be a solid like three stars and yeah that's my like main reading update um i haven't really done a lot of reading since i finished that because i have just been really busy or i ended up watching shows so i'm currently watching an anime which is the the Carrie diaries diary i think is what it's called i cannot remember off the top of my head i own the manga but i haven't read it yet but i think i'm up to date on that anime so far and then I did start watching some more of um, the Yamada. I can't remember the full title because I started that. Didn't continue watching it just because I wasn't in the mood. And then I saw the manga covers, which are coming out next year. And I was like, yeah, I want to pick it back up again. So I started watching that again as well. So that has been another reason why I haven't done a lot of reading. When I'm in my K-drama anime era, there's very little reading that gets done. But yeah, anyway, so reading plans haven't read any more iron flame i'm reading it on my kindle still haven't read any now for two weeks um i feel like that says everything i'm not disliking it i'm just not obsessed with it i feel like sometimes i'm reading a glossary or a dictionary of a fantasy world like it's very info jumpy and it's not a lot going on it's just a lot of flying back and forth there's not really a lot happening yet so i am only a hundred and something pages in and it's quite a long book but i haven't read any more so i do want to pick it back up again but i just think i need to take a, like a break from it so i did pick up the name drop by suzanne lee i've been very very excited to read this this has like a kind of k-drama vibe i believe and i really loved this author's previous book so i just thought it'd be nice to read like a little fun ya kind of romance um i have only read 30 pages so not a lot i'm also using my v bookmark which i'm obsessed with like look how stunning this is i got this at comic con the other week and i love it so yeah um i'm 30 pages in a lot has happened so far so i didn't really have any thoughts on it um, but I feel like this is one I can just fly through when I do find the time to sit down and read. So I want to try and finish this book this week and then I will be going on to Powerless. This one is my Patreon buddy read for the month. I think I've already said that in this vlog. I will be filming a vlog for it. I couldn't get my words out then. Um, but it's quite a chunky one for a fantasy, especially for a YA fantasy. So I need to get a move on with this. So my main goals for this week are definitely these two. Um, I have a couple of other books I really want to start, but I'm just not going to let myself fall down that like rabbit hole of a million books. But yes, anyways, those are all my reading updates as is. Um, I'm going to sort out all the books that I just got. So there is a lot. All of these which I just hauled and then we have this big stack here as well so these need a new home and um, but I am also oh and also these two but I am debating filming a book haul as well it's just that like I filmed a book haul a couple of months ago and still haven't edited it and I don't know if I will because I don't know if I have all the footage still so it's like if I film another book haul like that's like two book hauls back to back like do I don't I I don't know maybe I will I need to think about it because I can't remember what was in that book haul um, but I have gotten a lot of books in the last month or so. So maybe we will do like a book haul as well tonight. But yeah, I need to put all this away. I want to reorganise some of my shelves. And I also want to find time to just sit and read. So 
we shall see what happens i might update you guys this evening i might not who knows at this point um but yeah i do want to come on and just give a mini update especially while i have a full face of makeup um but yeah anyway i'm gonna go now i'm gonna make dinner and try and tidy up the huge mess that you can't see that is just cardboard boxes and bubble wrap so goodbye <laughs> hi guys so it's been a while since i updated this vlog <laughs> and the vlogging recently is just not going great for me i just haven't really been reading which you guys can probably tell from my last few vlogs this slump has been killing me for months now and it's very very closely tied to my mental health i would say like my mental state and my reading habits have a very kind of direct correlation and when my mental health is not doing so great my reading isn't either which doesn't make sense because i love reading to escape from life but I just get to this point where I just cannot do it. Um, and also, I've just been so busy that I just simply don't have the time. Like, when I've had downtime to do anything else, I've literally just been a couch potato and watched, like, a K-drama. Or me and Jamie have maybe, like, gone out to do something together to be able to spend some, like, quality time together. So I've just been finding it very difficult to actually fit in the time for reading. But I have a few things I'm going to work on. The next month to try and change that so fingers crossed we can start getting reading habits back again because obviously this is primarily a booktube channel and it sucks when i can't make the content i want to because my brain isn't letting me so please do bear with me but i really do appreciate all of your lovely comments on my past vlogs and for still sticking around and being here it does mean a lot and i will get back to my old bookish self soon i'm just going through a rough patch in life so yes anyway i'm not gonna get into all that again because i feel like it's all i talk about but i am here to not only kind of wrap up this vlog but i have a couple of things i want to show you guys so i don't really have any reading updates i think since i last spoke to you guys i haven't really read much more i'm currently reading powerless by lauren roberts but i'm not very far into that i really do need to finish it though for a patreon vlog but yeah since then I have done that. I've gotten a Christmas tree for my library, which is next to me. It looks so cute. Look at it. I do need to get better lights for it because these lights are not it. I didn't realise they were battery operated ones when I bought them. Um, but it looks really cute. I love it. Um, so I have filmed a decorate my library for Christmas video slash a vlog. So you guys will see that soon because I also want to tell you guys I'm doing bookmas. So don't hold me to it. It should be um basically i will be uploading every other day in december all the way up until christmas so basically there'll be 12 uploads and yeah i hope i just said every other day not every day because i'm definitely not uploading every day um i say this as december is quickly approaching and i haven't filmed a single video like i have like the decorate my library video partially filmed but yeah i need to do all that this is why i have no time for reading because i'm just filming all the time um, but yeah anyway I am doing bookmas i'm so excited i'm going to be sharing my full bookmas content schedule over on patreon and i just can't wait and i have like a festive little readathon planned with my patrons and just lots of exciting things um so yeah i'm very excited for the month of december for christmas and to have my first christmas not working in retail like to actually have christmas eve and boxing day off unheard of i'm so excited so yeah anyway back to what i was originally talking about I meant to show this in the a vlog earlier for Yalk and I had this on my shelf I think in the background at one point but it kind of just slipped in my mind. So when I was at Yalk I did get to meet some of you guys and some of my wonderful patrons which was just a highlight for me. Like it was so lovely to meet people in person. It's just such like a nice experience to be able to have and it's very surreal and I got to meet so many lovely people at Yalk. So if you did come and say hi, thank you so much. You really made my weekend. But one of my lovely patrons, Jade, I actually got to meet at Yalk and she was like so sweet and she gave me a Christmas gift, which Jade, if you're watching, like thank you so much. Honestly, my eyes are doing the watery thing now. But um, yeah, this was just really, really nice and definitely took me by surprise. And I waited until I got home to open it. Um, and that moment is now because this has been sat there and I was waiting until I was vlogging to open it. And like I said, I put it on my shelf and then I moved it when I was reorganizing my room and I put it under my coffee table and i knew it was there but i haven't vlogged since to be able to like include it so i'm finally doing it now and i'm so excited 
So I did already open the card and can I just show you guys how freaking cute this card is? Like this gift was so thoughtful. So this is like a festive Christmas card and it says Meowy Christmas and it's got all these Christmas cats on. How freaking cute is this? And the message inside was so, so lovely and yeah if i read it again i'm probably gonna tear up so i'm not gonna <laughs> read it again and obviously it's personal so i don't want to read it out loud to you guys um but i love this card so much and the message inside is just so lovely and yeah i will definitely cherish this so i did just want to show the card because it is adorable and then this is the bag that it came in which like look at this it's bookish i think i have the wrapping paper for this bag from war zones but like the fact that you also gave me this bookish bag like i love it so much it's so beautiful and then Jade very kindly got me two books and look at this Christmas like little wrapping around it. It's so cute. Like I'm obsessed with this. I really don't want to take like the ribbon off but also like these are so cute. So I did know books were in here because when I was like packing this into my suitcase coming home I saw the books. But yeah let's actually look at them. So we have a translated fiction. So I'm a very big fan of translated Japanese fiction especially the cat one so anything to do with cat and I don't have this one. Um, so this is the goodbye cat. This is the author here um so yeah and this is the cover it's so cute so my memory card got full and i just had to change it so i don't know where it cut me off but i'll reread this bit just in case so it says seven cats weave their way through their owners lives climbing comforting and nestling and sometimes just tripping everyone up bursting with empathy and love the goodbye cat is a joyous celebration of the wondrousness of cats and why we cannot resist sharing our lives with them I love the sound of this. This book sounds absolutely perfect for me. I read a book last year called She and Her Cat, which was another translated novel. And it's one of my all-time favourite books I've read now. It was so incredibly wholesome. It was an amazing book about the kind of relationship between cats and humans and kind of how, as humans, we need the companionship and connection. And it follows like various different people at different points in life. And honestly, it was just incredible. It made me sob. And I just love the way Japanese writers write about cats. Like they just do it the best. And yeah, you cannot convince me otherwise. So I'm so excited for this. Jade, you know me so well, honestly. Like this is so perfect for me. And it even has little cat chapter heading. This is so cute. Look at the little cats. Oh, I'm obsessed. I can't wait to read this. So thank you so much, Jade. But not only did she get me this amazing book, but she also got me a second one, which I've never heard of. So this one is called That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Demon. And this is by Kimberly Lemming. So this is a fantasy romance. In her card, Jade put, it's a very Katie Roberts-esque fast-paced romanticy. And I love romanticy, so I am very excited. So this is the first book in a series. Basically, I think our main character saves a demon. And from there, like, they end up having a romance. That's kind of all it says. It doesn't really tell you much. But this is quite a short one, and I feel like this will be perfect for a readathon. And you all know I love romanticy. And this cover, look at this. It is so stunning. So thank you so much, Jade, for these two wonderful Christmas gifts. I am honestly so grateful. And these were just such a nice surprise at Yelk. And yeah, like this was just so nice. And the card as well. Like, thank you so much, honestly. This was just really lovely and very, very grateful. So yeah, I just wanted to show those before the end of this vlog. And then I do have two Amazon parcels, which I'm very quickly going to open. Now, these could be pre-orders or maybe off my wishes. I honestly do not know. They went to my parents' house, which is really weird because obviously that's my old address. But I did change my Amazon wishlist address to my current one. But for some reason, a lot of them still turn up there. But then some come to my address so if you ever do kindly like send me something and you don't hear from me or like see it for, in a video or anything for a while it's usually because it's at my parents house and i don't know and like yeah <laughs> so anyway i have two parcels i think these arrived like a week ago apparently at my parents but i've just now got them so we'll open it they could literally be pre-orders i don't know but i did just want to say that in case they were so yeah i was gonna save these for an unboxing video but i'm too impatient so i thought we'd open them on camera together so i have pre-ordered some stuff off amazon i just don't remember what but i'm sure i would have done it to my address but who knows oh this is off my wish list oh oh so this is from soph um so this is the book that she very kindly got me and it says a court this cruel and lovely by starcia star i have heard this is an amazing romanticy and this cover as well 
Oh, I'm so excited. I'm definitely in a romantic mood. And it says on the back, for years, when I fell asleep, I dreamed of a man with blazing green eyes and a cruel smile. Say no more. Say no more. I want to read it just off that. Um, so yeah, this is the first book in the Kingdom of Lies series. And on the note, but hi Jodie, just wanted to say a huge thank you as your YouTube has encouraged me to make one as well. I hope you're doing better as well and you take the time you need for yourself. You deserve the world from Books with Soap. Thank you so much, Soap. That's so nice. And congrats on creating your own channel. I will find her channel and link it down below so you guys can check it out. But that is amazing. Um, thank you so much. This is so lovely and I'm so excited to read this. That, that's just made my day. Like, what a nice way to start the day. And then we have this part here which again i'm not sure what this is it definitely does feel like a book oh no way oh my god this is also from Soph. what there's two books in here excuse my like high-pitched weird voice then but oh my god what on earth so oh my god okay so this doesn't have a note with it but it does say it's from um books with Soph. <gasps> stop Oh my god stop this isn't this is literally insane oh my god this is nuts i well okay so it's like christmas came early today um so she also got me assistant to the villain by hannah nicole mayer i think is how you say it. i'm not actually sure um i've heard so much about this book i've seen it everywhere everyone is obsessed with it apparently it is amazing it's got morally great characters and a bit of romance i think and I'm so excited to read this. Like, the cover is gorgeous. And like I said, everyone I follow on, like, Bookstagram, BookTok, and BookTube has been reading this and loving it. And I've been itching to get my hands on it. So thank you so much, So Like, I can't wait to read this. On the back, it says, It's a laugh-out-loud fantasy romance about the assistant to an evil villain and their unlikely love story. And I love a villain so i'm so excited to read this so thank you so much but not only did she get me that she also got me in this one which is mile high by liz tomford so i've seen this all over the romance galleys like bookstagrams book talks booktube everything so i decided to put it on my wish list because i do like to read the really popular books because they're usually popular for a reason um and i have heard of this one over the last year or so and i've heard that it's amazing so I popped it on my wish list and I was very lucky to receive this from so this cover is so gorgeous I don't know if you can see but it has like this writing oh it's so cool and I think it's between a hockey player and a flight attendant say no more again <laughs> just hearing that makes me want to read it um so i'm so excited to read this like honestly i feel like this is going to be one that i'm going to be obsessed with i have a very very high expectations um but honestly like what on earth like so this is insane like i can't believe this thank you so much safe like this is so nice and yeah like i honestly don't know what i did to deserve such kindness from people like honestly this is just like blew me away <laughs> and this is a very nice start to my day like seriously christmas presents and books like i am just wow thank you so much honestly i am so grateful and i feel very very lucky and like i want to cry <laughs> But yes, that does conclude the end of this reading vlog. It wasn't really much of a reading vlog. It was more of a haul and random updates. Um, I did finish one book. I did finish reading The Forest Grimm. But besides that, not a lot of reading. But I hope you guys still enjoyed this anyway. I love to incorporate lifestyle stuff onto my booktube channel. So maybe just look at this as more of like a weekly vlog rather than a reading one um but like i said hopefully you guys have still enjoyed it anyway and i am gonna be trying my best to get back on track and like i said i have some exciting bookmas content coming up i am planning to do some festive themed reading vlogs and i have a few books in mind already so do look out for those and yes thank you guys so much for being here for all your support for being so wonderful and just the best community i could ever ask for i am very very grateful and it is never lost on me how lucky i am to have this little space on the internet and to have this platform and you guys as well if you ever were interested in extra content from me you can head to the link in my description box to find my patreon and that's where you're going to find early access to videos a monthly buddy read a monthly readathon a discord where we chat some live shows photos and extra videos such as like hauls and stuff you can find all of that over on my patreon so we'll have it linked down below and you can also find the links to my social media so yes with 
with all that being said thank you guys for watching don't forget to check out serious readers i will have all the information you need in the description box but that is everything for this vlog i hope you're all safe and well i hope you're reading lots of good books and i'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.